I refuse to sign this thing with YouTube. YouTube want me to sign with them. Again, I bet you if I sign this contract with YouTube, I'll jump to a million subscribers. My shit won't get censored. I wouldn't have no issue, but I'm not selling out. I don't care if they took the whole channel. I'm not selling out. All right? I told many of you this. All right? They, uh, Instagram trying to get me to sign with them. All right? These, these platforms have literally reached out to me. All right? And trying to get me to work with them. All right? Because we have built such a huge following without them. Without, no, none of them, this is all the ancestors. But once again, when you refuse to work with the powers that be, they attack you. Like what I'm going through right now, I have a whole fake case that everybody know about. I, I, I touched on it in my last lecture. I have a whole fake case being pent on me. I'm being framed right now as an innocent God, innocent soul. We ain't going for it. That's why right now, if y'all still on the team, y'all keep blowing up that district attorney down there. Because y'all called the district attorney, and then guess what? First he said, fuck y'all, but now he agreed to sit down and meet with my legal team. That's what pressure do. Y'all keep blowing that motherfucking number up. You feel me? Blow that bitch down. Because cause at the end of the day, we need that shit dismissed. You feel me? Or pre St. Bond. We not sitting in no cell for them to try to kill, clone, and replace me, because that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. So that's why I made everybody aware of what's going on. Fuck all that. Yeah, they kill Bernie Mac, too. Fuck all... All the, all the fake shit, I'm gonna let y'all know what these other celebrities did. I'm gonna let you know right out what they own with Rashad Jamal. They trying to kill Clone, replace me, put me in the cell, Clone, replace me, bring me back out, and I'll be a whole different nigga pushing what they want. You feel me? And it wouldn't matter what y'all said, because they'll just drain y'all out and bite all my fucking comments and bite all my Instagram shit, so it ain't gonna matter what y'all say. Next thing you know, I'm all on Oprah, I'm in a suit, all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we have to understand that, that the celebrities, your celebrities, your celebrities run your world, all right? You don't have to believe that, but your celebrities dictate your world, okay? This is why when Nicki Minaj broke her MK Ultra and she went to speak out about the jab, about the Holyfield jab, you know? Because, see, I can't even say it no more on my channel. I'm still amazed that our other niggas is, cover, is covering it. I like, 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 I've been, ex I've been exempt from saying, talking about this shit on my channel. And the real ones been following this channel from day one, watch it build up. Y'all know, they ain't gonna take the channel. I can't even talk about the shit no more, you feel me, on this channel. So I really don't. And still other motherfuckers be talking about it. Motherfucker got a million views. Motherfuckers saying the whole term and everything. I'm like, damn. Okay. <laughs> we, I see how y'all play. Everybody can talk about it, but Rashad Jamal around this motherfucker. You know, because I, I know the most about it. I know what it really what is, what's the whole end goal of this shit. Other motherfuckers just talking about the youth. They living in their presence. I, I can tell you why they came up with the jab. I can tell you what the jab, what it leads to. And people been following me since day one know that. I've been told y'all that. 72 aura nodes, 72 titans, 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 the beings. Listen, man. Break this shit down. New, you know what I'm saying? The, the metrics. You know what I'm saying? Numetrically, you hear me? Like, but at the end of the day, we gonna get off that. We don't want them slicing the video. We don't look him today. So, before we get deep, and before we jump off the boat and into this ocean of truth, let me first, buy, it's imperative that we open up this lecture with the right spiritual energy at all times. And, 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 and you know, this protects not only my avatar, but y'all as well. So, you know, once again, first, let me start by saying peace. You know, to all the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai, peace, many positive energy always creates elevation. To any human beings or any extraterrestrial races that, or that happen to be watching my live, I'm sending peace to you as well. As long as you're on a high vibration, you're good with me. It's not about race. It's about vibration. It's about frequency. I am a scientist. I am a, I am a teacher. You know, I am that I am. I am a revolutionary, so expect nothing less of me. All right, a lot of y'all, um, a lot of people that has came across Rashad Jamal, a lot of y'all listen to me. It's a lot of people that don't. You know, I come off as crazy to certain individuals. Certain individuals, I come off as over-aggressive, overly aggressive, and all that. But I just want to say, Thank suck you. my dick. Thank you. All right, because I'm a revolutionary. So expect nothing less of me. I and I, and I, and I, and I, I want to tap on that before I, you know, send out my deepest insights to my elders, before I greet my elders in here right now and greet my peers and greet you. Because I think a lot of people jumped around that. But if you go look at my Instagram account, no, it clearly no, says author, <laughs> revolutionary, luminous being, because we are luminous beings, that which we are, 666. So I am a luminous being, and so are you, 666. All right, six electrons, six protons, six neutrons, it's all electricity. I keep saying everybody talking about alkaline diets, but still think they are a meat soup. 
It don't matter if you if you you can drink all the water, eat all the vegetables, but if you don't understand deeply that you are an electrical being, which makes you a luminous being, you are completely lost. You know, all that jogging on the beach, jogging down the street, goddamn it, all that ain't gonna help you if you don't understand the truth. You feel me of what you are? Now a lot of individuals. A lot of individuals, you know, they forget that I'm a revolutionary. So, and being a revolutionary, I don't know what they expect from me. I, honestly, me me being able to get on here and teach like this is a, is a gift. Because I'm a revolutionary. So, revolutionary ain't really doing too much talking. You know what I'm saying? We just all action. But, that's the gift and the curse that, I, that was bestowed upon me. So I just want to, I just want once again, because I just put the post up on, on, on Instagram the other day, and I put up the definition of revolutionary. Okay, so revolutionary individuals are very considered very violent because they are willing to die in war for the change, the status quo, and the stage to change the system, nigga. I'm not no politician. I'm not no motherfucking pastor, nigga. So your pastors and your they are the ones that jump in suits. And go and try to work shit out via, via vote. I'm a revolutionary nigga. I want this shit changed the gangster way. You know what I'm saying? I came to change shit the way. I'm gonna wake my people up, but never forget I'm a revolutionary. So expect nothing less of me. So expect aggression from me. Expect me to change the system and challenge the system aggressively. And that, that which I do. That which I do. No different than these people trying to put a fake case on me so that they can Lil Kim me. We'll talk about it today. They want to Lil Kim me. Bernie Mac, hell, do the same thing with my wife. It's, you know, they kill and replace the whole family, nigga. You feel me? So that, that way everybody think everything's still cool. It won't go like that with a revolutionary because I'm not going to let it go like that. We'll we'll pay, we'll pay, get a legal team, which we did, that reached out to us of, of from the NAACP, all right? Send the legal team to talk to y'all. They the, they the cordial ones, all right? Y'all look into this fake case that y'all trying to put on me. Now, once we send a legal team down there, we'll have the guys and goddesses call down there once again. Shout out, thank you to all the guys and goddesses. Y'all been blowing up their phone, keep blowing their shit up, because now we got a meeting. And they don't normally want to do meetings, but they want a meeting now. Okay, right, because they know there's some bullshit. Okay, so that's our way of being cordial. That's what I'm talking about. That's our yeah. way of being cordial. Other than that, it, don't get, it, ain't, it ain't getting no more cordial, nigga. We not going in there regardless. So you either going to get the pre-consent bond or dismiss the whole case because it was a fallacy, a case that was put together by a vindictive woman working out of pure jealousy who was using two innocent souls, he, her daughter, but also my son, to try to stab me and the Winder Police Department down there in Georgia because y'all in cahoots with the with, with the with the with Governor Kemp of Georgia and all these big politicians who are a part of Pizzagate who I speak out against. That's why y'all went on ahead and concocted a bullshit instant report and sent marshals to the house and all type of extra shit. Alright? So us getting the legal team involved, us having people in the university call y'all, that's cordial. We giving y'all a chance to prove to to Rashad Jamal and the ancestors and the University of Cosmic Intelligence and all these guys and goddesses that y'all are not who we say y'all are, right? Which y'all racist. The most racist county in Georgia is Winder. Not too far from where Mount Aubrey was killed in Glen County. They're about three hours apart, but the same people, all right? So, in a revolutionary, you know, this is what it's about. We went the Georgia way. October 13th is the meeting, y'all. So October 13th, y'all got to do this shit the right way. October 13th, come y'all don't do it the right way. Hey. You leave me no choice but to be the revolutionary that which I am. I speak out against the system. You feel me? Me and my family speak out against the system. All the guys and goddesses in here, that's what we see eye to eye. We speak out against the system. You have white people in the university, good human beings that they speak out against the system. So they in here with us. All right. So anybody in this university, this is a place where you could be yourself. All right. This is a place where you could be yourself. But at the end of the day, you everybody that follow me know how to read between the lines. They already forced it jab on us they already don't want, they already censoring us they're taking away all your freedom so this is bigger than rashad jamal anywhere it went y'all this is about kai gods and planet kai and our planet being stolen from us and the kundalini energy rising do you know how many innocent black guys are sitting in jail behind somebody lying on them i'll never be another one of them so if i was old today to these laws i would be letting out everybody in jail down there that listen to these lectures i would be letting all the guys and goddesses that around the planet that listen to this Cause guess what we we in we going to war before they even put it on Rashad Jamal we was already at war war was imminent regardless war was imminent regardless the war was imminent regardless 
So we in the heart of war, and they want to go sit one of the generals down so they can have their way with y'all. And I'll be, I'll be damn if I do that. You're not finna lock me up so you can be out here lying to my people. Because we all know who watch. If you watch me, you know this. Anything they say, this is how you know they watch us. This is how you know they watch us. Any fucking thing they say, we get right on their ass and we decode it and we break it down. And then they go out the way to try to discredit it. When I brought up the Dreezy effect and that Dreezy was on the MK Ultra, all of a sudden she dropped the video two days later. I pulled out the fact that motherfucking, uh, 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 uh that, it just, that was just supportedly missing, baby, let's be missing. Oh, um, so, um, Price. Kelly Price. Yeah. We addressed the Kelly Price situation on Instagram. All of a sudden, literally the next day, she gives an uh, interview live. You've been missing yeah. a week, let them tell it. And once, once we, the university, once we attack it for what it is, because she's been killed, cloned, and replaced. All right? But once we attack it, all of a sudden, the very next day, y'all, yeah. now Kelly Price was giving a, giving a, giving a speech. But everybody that watched the speech noticed that her background was like all blurry and she tried to write at all. Anybody could have stayed through that, that that was CGI imagery. Let him watch I see clearly. Mm -hmm. It don't matter what it is, nigga. We made a lecture about the Bermuda Triangle right here on this, on this motherfucking YouTube. Bermuda, they been talking about the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle for 30, 40, 50 plus years. All of a sudden, the Rashad Jamal, we give a lecture about the, about the Bermuda Triangle, and I let all y'all know that ain't no such thing as no Bermuda Triangle, and that our ancestor ocean is, is trapped in that area between the Caribbean islands by two giant pyramids. They are using our ancient magic. And Atlantis, the Bermuda Triangle, is a part of Atlantis because all of that was the capital of Atlantis, right? I said that right here on this channel, right here on YouTube, let the record reflect. Nigga, a week later, now they rolled out all type of articles about scientists have discovered two pyramids on the sea. Nigga, you ain't gonna tell me y'all ain't watch us. You feel me? But guess what, y'all? They'll never give credit to a black, black scientist just like the pyramids, nigga. That shit's so small. That shit's so redundant. That shit's so low level. That shit's so low vibrant. The pyramids, like, you really got people out here that thought pyramids were what we invented. That shit ain't nothing compared to what we invented. We invented everything that you see around you. But to limit you, they can't. They, they couldn't move the pyramids if they could, they could, but they can't. So they, they, they show them to you. And, and then, even when they let you know that the pyramids was built from the top down. All right, a lot of people don't know that. The pyramids of Giza was built from the top down, nigga. So not only are all the, 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 the metrics perfectly aligned, but... But this giant pyramid that they could never reconstruct ever again, because yep, they need our genetics to do it, we hold all the keys, all right? This giant pyramid was built from the top down. All of them was. Also, they won't let you know that there's pyramids in every state. They also will never tell you that North America is actually North Africa, because the map is up down. They'll also never tell you that the ocean... They try to stop them down. All land is connected, nigga. You can get out. Keep going, God. Tell you. They'll never tell you that. They'll never tell you that. They show you these maps that got you thinking we we connected and broken up by all these things. They it's the same ocean, and they gave the same one ocean, which is our ancestor, one of the original Titans, nineteen thousand different names, nigga. Okay. They'll never tell you that. They'll never tell you that it's an ice ring surrounding this one land. They'll never tell you that. They'll never tell you that. You see what I'm saying? They. Will never tell you that Arizona leads into what you think it is. They'll never tell you that. You got to come in here to get that type of shit. And that makes us dangerous. That makes us public enemy number one. I told y'all this months ago. Let him watch the see clearly. Just like right now. We finna break down and explain that Lil' Kim was used as a weapon aimed at the black people and aimed specifically at the mindsets of the youth, the young, young goddesses that would be, that would be today's parents. All right, so if you was a little girl in the 90s, Lil' Kim affected you. And she also affected us, the young gods, because you, that, that further made the young gods feel like, hey, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Lick on the ball that you suck the dick. Remember them songs? See, they understand what they did to our generation, because I'm a 90s baby. I, I, land, I landed on this planet in 1986, all right? I came here in 1986 because that was my ship number. My landing date is 11 22 86. And if you add all those numbers up, it equals 119. Why does my why does my solar day add up to 119? My solar day adds up 1122 plus 1986. Add it all up. 
11, 20, 26. Drop the 19. Add 11 plus 22 plus 86, and you're going to get 119. The reason that I came on that day is because I, I came directly from the 19th galaxy. You see what I'm saying? So we work through numbers, like angel numbers and numerology. But I have a, I have a whole lecture coming up on numerology on my website. Because they'll never tell you what numbers really are. So we're going to break numerology all the way down on my website. It's coming up. But once again, www.theuci, University of Cosmic Intelligence, dot online. The only place where God can be a God, a goddess can be a goddess, you can be your motherfucking self. But let, let's talk numbers real quick so you can understand. In tune with certain things. I told you. I'm not more powerful than you at all. We are only one. I hear you. So when y'all sit in here and watch me, and y'all like, oh, God, you intelligent. Oh, thank you. I always say, don't thank me. Thank the ancestors. Then you are the ancestors. I am you. You are me. There is no separation. If you proud of me, that means you pray. You love me. You love you. I am another form. I am you in another form. And that's what reflection means. Okay? So when I landed 11-22-1986, 11-22-86 was when I chose to land upon my inception on this realm to do my soul contract that I signed up for. And I told you niggas I wasn't trying to come back down here. Anybody, anybody didn't follow me from the Facebook days, I said that it's just people thought I was joking. I'm like, you know, I was Tucson L. Overture in my past life, y'all. So a lot of y'all don't know who Tucson L. Overture is because they don't talk about him in American history books. You know, they had all the real revolutionaries from you. They don't talk about Queen Nanny, Tucson L. Overture, none of those individuals. Tupac Amaru, and I'm see, when I say Tupac Amaru, you think about Tupac Amaru Shakur. Understand that Tupac Amaru Shakur, the rapper, was named by his mother, Afeni Shakur, and Asada Shakur, who were very deep goddesses, and they were aware of Tupac Amaru. Tupac Amaru was the leader of the Incas. Now go look up the Incas and see what the fuck they did to the Spanish conquistadors, and then you'll understand why Tupac never had a chance. They was, going, they was, they, they was watching him since the day he came out the pussy. That's a fact. His mom named him Tupac Amaru. Huh? I, go look it up. You go look up Tupac Amaru and tell me what these crackers tell you about him. Because you know these crackers don't lie to you anyway. But go look it up and they'll give you a little bit about him. They'll give you a little bit about him. See, a lot of people don't know that. So when they be calling Tupac an agent, man, you have not a clue. You have not a clue. But Tupac Amaru was the leader of the Incas. Another revolution. Tupac, I can name him all. But look. In my last physical incarnation before I came here, back here is Rashad Jamal, who y'all see. My last incarnation, I was Tucson El Overture, and I led Haiti to a revolution, and we won that war. We won that war. Now, when I landed in 11 22 when they drew my blood, they knew exactly who I was. This is why they took my mom. Out of all the babies that came on this planet in 1986, they measured my head, and I measured in the top 10. This is a true story. This ain't the shit I'm making up. This is a true story. All right? what the doctors told my mom because they already knew what the fuck I came to do. So, what I'm trying to get y'all to see is a lot of times we sit here and y'all don't understand how I'm able to channel no information. I'm just breaking down to you why and how. You get what I'm saying? And when I came into ground because I signed up, I, I elected the camp to come back. I didn't have to come back. All right? A lot of us have to come back because most people don't know how to break past the moon's light. Remember I taught y'all about the moon way this time last year in November. About this time last year, we were right here on this channel, and I spoke to y'all about soul har harvesting. That's what the moon is used for. So a lot of souls get caught up in the light. They go into the light, because religion teaches you that. After we leave and transcend the realm, it takes the soul between 40 and 72 days to fully transcend the realm. So after somebody dies, when you think they die, their soul and spirit is still here in their atmosphere. In the stratosphere, they have to break through it. They have to break through it. And as they transcend in the realm, most of us get, get see the moon and think it's the light. Because your soul remembers all the lies that was told. You take all that with you. So most people go into that light thinking they're going to heaven. And when you go into that light, scientists on the moon with thermal radiation and energetic readers capture your soul. Because the soul is magnetism. So they basically use magnets toward your soul to the light once you come to it. Because your soul but a magnet anyway. The soul is magnetism, the spirit is electricity, okay? So, they're using these, these, mag, these magnets to pull, and only, that's, that's what the term only the strong body 
Because if you're strong, a strong soul, you won't be less strong to it. But most of us don't. So they go into it. And then you go into the light, thinking you're going to heaven. They capture you, put you in a bottle. They put you in a real life little bottle. Put you in a little incubator tube. Bleach your soul of its memories. I can't even word the technology they're using because there's no word for it. But they bleach your soul of its memories. All right? They run it through these little... Almost like at the airport. You know how like when you go to the airport and they run and they run your bags under the scanner, they can see that's what they do with your soul with wise in this tube. And they bleach it up as memories. And now that the memories is gone, they push you back down here to this planet. And you pick you you you, you don't even get to pick your parent at that time. If you have to reincarnate that, you don't even pick your parents. You just go into whatever parent that you land in. Almost like they showed you in the movie Soul. When they was falling, they, all the souls was jumping. Remember when he tried to hear up and go, he had the guy open up the portal for him on Soul, and he jumped down in there, and they're like, hold on, and he landed in the cat, and then the other soul, she landed in him. That's real. That's real. Okay? That, that's exactly what they do to your soul upon reincarnation. So this is why, you know, this is why, you know, a lot of people reincarnate here. Sometimes they come back as insects, animals, elements, trees, actual beings, dust mites. It just depends. So it's that's not the natural way. Okay. So in my situation, by me fulfilling my mission when I was Tucson El Overture, I was able to elect to come back. So you do have a soul contract mission. It's like a video game. If you if you if you fulfill it, once you leave, you can come back and help out if you're needed or if you choose to. So I elected to come back down here to help. And 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 I told niggas I didn't want to do it. But it was a job that must be done. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, you know, they had just they had just took out Malcolm and everybody in the 60s, you feel me? I hadn't been there since the 18, 1700s or some shit like that. So we up in the ashes watching everything take place. So about this war that was going to come in your year of 2021 as we head to 2022 and 23 we can see this in the ashes because years aren't real remember we 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 live, we have energy cycles we don't have years and day that shit's so primitive that's their shit we we are beyond time you feel me so we can see all this shit and you got souls that elect to come not just me others come everybody come they elect certain ones elect and they got their mission so my mission was my mission was just like this The ancestors told me, we need you to go back down there. Because a lot of the people is going to be waking up. But we need, we need one of our most finest spiritual assassins to go back down there. And I'm like, you know, this planet Kai is looked at as mission impossible to a lot of ascended masters and advanced souls. You have to understand that Satan is a very smart the fuck. So we know when we come here, we in his world until we get it back from him. He took it from us. He's powerful, just like us. So it's not easy to do. And I could foresee that I was walking into a different energy. Like when I came here as Tucson El Overture. When I, I came here as Tucson El Overture, the energy wasn't like this. The freaking dropped this low. So it was a different time like our people was we were more aware of who we were we existed on one frequency we had dances and we used the power of vibration see you have to understand the power of vibration this is why we danced and this is why we chanted all of this was about vibration if you go look at what they call the indians which is still us they danced and they sung for the rain right but they don't tell you go look at any ancient african tribe the yoruba tribe the dogon the the, 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 I mean, anybody, the Zulus, the Ashanti, I mean, just anybody, you could just go look at any tribe. You never understand why they dance. You never understand why they sing, what, what, what the drum means. A lot of people don't understand why the drum touches us so deeply and why the guitar affects human beings so deeply. The guitar is what? Guitar is what? Electric. This is why human beings, this is why y'all love that guitar. This is why rock and roll was so prevalent oh, once, it, once it was created. And rock and roll was blues, right? But 
this guitar is electric. So the strings, understand that, see, they don't tell y'all what, I'm gonna do a whole separate lecture just on instruments, man. They didn't lie to y'all about everything. You have no clue how powerful each and every instrument is. And if you were to figure out how to use the keys on the piano effectively, fuck playing a song, that's not the reason that we came up with instruments. We didn't make instruments to play no goddamn songs, nigga. Songs is just something that came about as a part of the enchantment. We're spell casting. Because when you make words rhyme, that's harmony. And when you have harmony with intent, this is the one of the most purest ways along with pure water to manifest anything. So the drums, the drums are an esoteric thing. The way your ancestors used to, why do you think they hit the drums with their hands? Why didn't they hit the drums with their head? Why didn't they hit the drums with their elbow? Because you have eyes right here. You got to touch that drum a certain way. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a marriage. It's a spiritual marriage of binding your energy with these Trumps. That's why when you hear the drum, and to this day, everybody black the bass. You can make a basic rhythm, and then we still feel that. You can't help yourself, nigga. You can't help yourself with no drum. so-called ladder told you we the same the drum affect y'all like it affect us get that drum come on y'all be you hear me them all drums nigga them drums they make you move don't they they make you do more than that if you really know how to use the drums human beings white people caucasians asians mexicans dravidians and arabs these are the human beings you love that electricity, because you're full of electricity. You don't have magnetism, so the drums don't affect you the same way. However, though, that guitar do, because the strings on the guitar is electrical. And what's y'all favorite guitar in rock and roll? The electric guitar. That's what it's called. That's what Jimi Hendrix was using. The electric guitar. Let him who has eyes be clearly. So when you understand the power of vibration, then you understand what music really is. Music is magic. It's a form of it. Music is magic. Okay? You need instruments to make music. They will never tell you who made each and every single instrument and why it was made. All right. So understanding that music is one of magic. I want y'all to hold that thought. Don't don't sit it down. Don't pass it off to your friend. You hold it. Cause we finna come right back to it. So versity. We appreciate you. We in the end game. It's war time. It's time to stand up and rise, y'all. We ain't gonna be on the internet that much longer. But I don't want none of the elderly to move with any fear. You're not old. You're not old at all. Even if you're 95 right now, what is 95 when the numbers are endless? You think your legs don't work? As good as they used to when you was younger. Who told you to believe that? Elderly, 65 and older. You think you don't matter anymore because you got wrinkles in your skin. But that's who taught you to believe that, though. You see? We in the end game now. Do not limit yourself to your avatar, to all the elderly. You are ageless, timeless. 
unshackle yourself from these white racist theologies, ideologies that were forced upon your ancestors to rob you of what you are. That's my message to the elders today watching this live. We in the end game. We ain't gonna be on the internet too much longer. Shit is over with. Their system, their matrix, done. Dundada, Ox, Linux. You hear me? Done. Dundada. You hear me? Ox, Linux, off belly. Done, done, done. Real Dundada. You hear me? It's Dundada. Alright? But the elders must remember why you are still here right now. Do you think we sent you here to let you reach a golden ripe, what you call age, for you to just hit that age and then just give up on everything, including yourself? Because you feel like you are useless because you were told that? Who taught you that 65 made you an elder? We did. Especially when we know time is based off the Gregorian calendar. It only works if you believe in it. That's why I don't celebrate holidays and, and solar days, birthdays anymore. You are beyond the flesh, elderly. Remember that. And all the experience that you have gathered while being on this realm, we need right now in this in this war. We need it. We don't need you sitting somewhere in the corner feeling sorry for yourself. Talking about what you would have did if you was 30 years younger. We ain't got time for that. We ain't got time. We shattered that. It's over with for time. We back to nature. We back to us. We back to building us up again, healing us. That's where we at right now. We're healing. We're remembering who we are. That's, that's healing. That's what we doing. And as we continue to heal, the stronger we get. They put a lot of wounds on us. A lot of wounds. But now they're healing. And they're healing fast. That's what happens when you, you take a bite out of that fruit called knowledge of self. You see, they've been feeding you meat. They've been feeding us lies. But when you take a bite out of that fruit called self, you can feel the nectar dripping down you. The lip, sun shining, dolphins jumping, rainbow come out. No rainbows, are stargates. Knowledge of self. That's who we are, elderly. If you want to call yourself that, I don't call you that. To my peers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, I'm sending you the deepest of insight for this divine dialogue today. So, in the war, the elders need us, the youth need us, we the muscle. Remember that. We the muscle. To the youth. You the right hook. The youth, y'all the right hook. You know. Because they ain't gonna never see y'all coming. Two, 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 two. Let the let the ancestors speak clearly. But to the youth, they ain't gonna never see y'all coming. You hear me? They feel like they got y'all where they want y'all. Drugs surround your community. The community is filled with men who think they women and women who think they men. They they bombarding the cartoons with nothing but homosexuality in the cartoons. They have your mom thinking that she don't need no nigga, so you probably ain't got no daddy in the house if you are, if the average youth today. They got they got the they got the they got the guys thinking they don't need no bitch, so your daddy don't give a fuck about your mama if you the youth for today. 
They have infused our communities with guns and drugs and laws that do not see to, to give our the youth a chance. They don't they know they don't show y'all cartoons like they showed us no more. Y'all don't watch Sesame Street. Y'all don't watch Captain Planet. Y'all don't watch Peter Pan. Y'all not watching none of that. You watching Cardi B and Meg Stallion and these rappers and facts. Y'all don't even have a childhood youth. When we was kids, we went outside. I told you our parents had to find us. And every generation before that can vouch. Be in the house for the streetlights, come on. Not today, youth. They took nature from you. They don't even want y'all to have no nature. Y'all don't want to go outside. All y'all want to do is get on the goddamn internet all day. That's technology. What about nature? Y'all the babies. Y'all the fresh crops. How the crops, how the crops gonna grow if, the, if ain't nobody getting no sunlight? The youth, y'all the crops. We need y'all to harvest. We waiting for y'all to harvest, but y'all can't harvest, right? If the slave master ain't letting y'all get no sunlight because he got you in the house all day in front of the internet. You know these computers are blue screen. These phones are blue screen, so they emit blue light. Blue light is made to attack your pineal gland. They fire selenium. It's a liquid fire called selenium that's fired at your pineal gland through these blue screens that's on your cell phones, your laptops, your flat screen TVs. They've been doing it since they came out with the color TV. Before they had the color TV, they wasn't doing it. When it was in black and white, they wasn't doing it. When they crossed over from black and white to color, that's what made the color. They had to put selenium, which is a chemical, to shut down your pineal gland into them tubes, which is how they even was able to create the color TV. Lamb who has eyes see clearly, they've been doing it. Mm. But when they advanced in the 90s going into the 2, 2K with the flat screen TVs and the cell phones and the iPhones like this, laptops and tablets and iPads, what do you think weaponry designed to make sure that the new crops, they never harvest correctly? See? We in the end game now. To the youth, go back outside, get some nature. I know it's gunshots going on, but don't go outside on your block. Go to some nature, go to a forest preserve, go to a park. Every city got one, you just gotta go to it. Get in nature. Y'all the fresh crops. For you to grow strong, you need air. You need sunlight. You are plant-based. We all are. We receive our energy and our food the same way the plants do, through photosynthesis. All right. Ancient beings require ancient ideologies and ancient food to stay ancient and in all power. OK, so now that we all in here, we know the mission, we know the plan. Let's discuss Lil' Kim. All right. Let's discuss her. OK, so 